everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I have my Q3 Project Use It Up finale. Um, a little bit later than I was hoping, but we're here nonetheless. Um, and soon, a uh, couple days, you'll see my Q4 intro video. So keep an eye out. We are doing this for Q4. Um, but essentially, Project Use It Up for me is a non-makeup project pan. I like to do them quarterly um, because I find that I use different products in different seasons and things like that. So um, it helps me kind of have a definitive start and end date. I will link the Q3 intro and update video. I did a halfway update on these products down below if you wanna see kind of how that uh, progression has gone. But I'm really excited to do my finale today. I made some really great progress, especially a little push at the end of the month, and I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. So at the halfway update, I had completed four products, which is really great. Um, those I have already like recycled, they're out of my life, so I don't have them to show you. But if you wanna see them, check out that halfway update video. So let's start with skincare. I had a couple of items going. So the first one is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair like serum type item. It's like, you know, a nice little deluxe size sample. I used this um, in the evening time on the nights that I would use like a hydrating type serum. This is what I was using. Um, it's nice. I I don't know. I feel like I'm at the point with my skincare where I don't need any like very fancy products right now. Like, you know, midline to like inexpensive products are working for my skin. So maybe one day I would see more value out of this, but it, it was fine. You know, whatever. But I did finish it. So that's great. Um, to move little little guys out of the collection sometimes. Um, I also had this Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. So I actually use this as an evening moisturizer. I don't use like a true moisturizer in the morning. I just use an SPF and that's enough of a moisturizer for me because I have oily skin. So I love Good Molecules as a brand. I really liked this silicone free moisturizer. Um, it was the right consistency, especially throughout the summer without being too heavy. I also love that it's a pump and it's one of the ones where like the product comes up so you can clearly see where um, you were. So the lines have faded a little bit. When we started, I was at this bottom line and then at the halfway point, I was obviously at this next line and I'm completely done. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it or not. Um, but I did, which is great. So this is completed and happy to move this out. I do have a couple other moisturizers that I need to get through. So um, yeah, good to kind of move on from this one. The last skincare item I have, I did not think I was going to finish and I didn't. This is the Olay Complete UV365 Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. Um, I originally got this for my boyfriend. He wanted me to formulate him a little, you know, skincare routine. Um, and he just didn't care for this. And uh, it doesn't expire until March of 23 for the SPF. So I have now adopted it. Um, SPF 15 is too low for me for what I want to use on my face. But I do use this on my neck, chest, and the backs of my hands daily. And that's how I kind of go through SPFs that either I don't like the consistency of for my skin or they're just too low. So when we started this, it was pretty much at the top. I didn't mark it. There was only like a couple uses out of here. Um, so at the halfway update, I was right here. It's kind of at the shoulder of the product and now I am here. So my goal was to get about halfway. I would not say I'm halfway, but I made good progress. So this is one that you will probably see roll over into the Q4. Um, use it up just to make, help me kind of track it and make sure I'm remembering to use it because again I want to use it up before the expiration in March of next year so didn't finish this one didn't expect to but um, certainly good progress here oh and then the last skincare goal I had was to face mask once a week which would be roughly 12 times I face mask 8 out of 12 times so not terrible but not the goal either um, I'm pretty happy with that though. You know, I was um, sick for a little bit. I've had some like random things come up for me, colds and whatever. So um, I'm, I'm okay with eight out of 12. Um, and you know, it just helps me remember to use my face mask. It's not necessarily to use up a particular mask. It's just to use them. Uh, let's move into body care products. So I had two remaining in the project and they're both kind of exfoliating products. So the first is a scrub. This is from an Etsy brand called K&S Soapworks. I really love them. 
Um, so this is the Lemon Verbena. This is also my last one. So I'll probably place an order at the end of the year to get some for next year. Um, these scrubs are different than like the Tree Hut scrubs. I say this every time, but these are like a foaming scrub. So you get a scrub action and then it lathers into like a body wash, which I think is really nice. I really enjoy this for the summertime, especially like after having sunscreen on and swimming in the lake and all these things, I just want to like get a good scrub, but it's not too rough on your skin. And then it also lathers into a soap and then I'm clean and it's just really nice. This lemon verbena scent was very pleasant. I really enjoyed it. So all in all, really love this product, but also happy I finished it up because now I'm kind of past a lemon scent. You know what I mean? Um, the other exfoliating product I have here is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I pretty much always have one of these on hand. I have um, replaced this. I use this to help me treat any sort of bumps or like KP that I have on my arms. I find that the toner like type of product works really well. I love that it has the nozzle for you to just kind of like squirt what you want onto. I have reusable cotton rounds. So I use those and I swipe it over my arms um, anytime I shower. And then I was really trying to get good about doing it like... Um, because I shower like every other day. So on the nights that I didn't shower, I would try to remember to do it in my skincare routine and just swipe them. To finish this all the way up, I have been tracking it for a few uses uh, or a few different projects, but at the last time I was here and I did complete it all the way. So that is awesome. And then hair care. So I had a um, specific shampoo here that I was working on and I also finished this up. Uh, so this is the Avalon Organics Clarifying Lemon Shampoo. It says it removes dulling buildup to restore brightness and shine. Um, it's vegan, biodegradable, no GMOs, which is, you know, super. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like this helped me definitely like scrub through my scalp and everything, but I always double shampoo. I have been doing that for years. My scalp is so happy when I do that. I feel like it, the first one gets rid of any product and oil. And then the second shampoo I do always like actually cleans the hair and the scalp. So, you know, using this as the first shampoo versus just using the same shampoo twice. I don't know if I see a difference. So I'm happy I used it up. It worked. You know, it definitely helped clean my hair, but I don't know that I need a specific like clarifying shampoo when I can just use the two, you know, the same shampoo twice, if that makes sense. So anyway, happy this is gone. One less product to store um, and keep track of. I also had a goal to use my hair masks. I have a couple of them. Um six times throughout the quarter. So that's like every other week. And I did achieve that. Um, I have a purple mask from not your mother's. Um, that really does help with like, you know, highlights and anything, you know, that would maybe get more brassy. So I do enjoy that. And I also have a protein hair mask and I kind of alternate through those. I did achieve that using, you know, the hair mask six times throughout the quarter, which is also kind of like a hair uh, face mask, just a good reminder to use them. Um, otherwise, you know, they can just sit there. So all in all, I would say this quarter was a huge success. I have one that's rolling over, but I didn't expect to finish it anyway. Um, and yeah, so I'm really happy with how I've done. If you have been working on items this quarter, let me know how you have been doing. I know some people just kind of do this on a monthly basis and it rolls forever, um, which is fun too. I like watching those, um, but I just like doing the quarterly. So you will see a Q4 intro from me in a couple of days. I'm so excited. I've already picked out the products. I just need to sit down and film it. So that is coming up and that's all I've got for you. So thanks for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.